Russia has begun construction of the construction of its first strategic stealth bomber in the Perspective Aviation Complex for Long Range Aviation PAPA, program. Also known as Product 80 and Courier, a source in the military industrial complex told TESS. The production of the fuselage elements will be handled by one of the factories of the United Aircraft Corporation UAC. Work on the design documentation is complete. The delivery of materials has also begun, the source said. Another source told TASS that aircraft cockpit construction was underway. Final assembly of all aircraft must be completed by 2021, he said. The Tupel of Design Bureau Press Service did not comment on the construction of the first Pop EA bomber. In December 2019, Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Krivoruchko told the Krasnaya Zvezda newspaper that the design of the aircraft project had been approved and the Tupel of Design Bureau began developing work design documentation. Starting the manufacture of parts and elements of the POC DA test aircraft. In February 2028, Krivoruchko announced that the first engine for the aircraft would begin trials this year. It is known that Pop EA was designed using the flying wing design scheme. This bomber will feature technology and materials that reduce radar visibility, stealth technology. The aircraft is subsonic, and will be able to carry current and future cruise missiles, precision bombs and hypersonic weapons while also being equipped with the latest communication equipment and jammer systems. Pog DA is a next-generation stealth strategic bomber developed by Tupolev for the Russian Air Force. The Pog DA is set to complement and eventually replace the older Tupolev 295 in Russian Air Force service. According to the Izvestia 2020 report, three Pog DA prototypes are expected to be ready for preliminary testing in April 2023, with state tests to begin in February 2026. The aircraft is expected to enter serial production in 2027. Due to ongoing modernization of the current Russian bomber fleet and purchase the massive Tu-160M-2 upgrade, it is believed that the Russian Ministry of Defense will initially only buy a small number of pop -DA bombers. The pop -DA technical parameters include subsonic speed and operational range of 12,000 km and the ability to remain in the air for 30 hours while carrying conventional and nuclear loads up to 30 tons. This aircraft is estimated to have a crew of four. The first mentioned about Russia's next-generation long-term strategic bombers goes back to the late 1990s when the formation of requirements for aircraft had begun. In December 2007, the Russian Air Force submitted to the Tupolev Design Bureau the first set of technical and tactical requirements for new strategic bombers and program financing began in 2008. According to some preliminary reports the Pop DA would be based heavily on the Tupolev Tu-160 supersonic but then reports about the plane, including the television address of then Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, seemed to imply that it would be an entirely new design. On September 3, 2009, the Russian Ministry of Defense awarded Tupolev Design Bureau a three-year R&D contract to conduct studies for new remote bombers. According to Tupolev President General Designer Igor Shevchuk, this must be a fundamentally new plane, based on conceptually new solutions. In June 2012, then Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin questioned the need for new long-range bombers pointing to high advances in air defense and anti-missile defense technology which said the aircraft would not get anywhere. Not ours, not theirs, not ours, not ours. Chief of General Staff Nikolai Makarov responded by stating that work was in progress and that the design was superior to American aircraft. On June 9, 2012, Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev stated that the Papier had been confirmed as planned. Russian President Vladimir Putin in his statement on June 14, 2012 also urged the need for new long-range bombers. On August 27, 2012, Dmitry Rogozin called for bombers capable of hypersonic speed to better match the United States air defenses. However, 
It is unclear whether his comments refer to hypersonic bombers or his ability to carry hypersonic air-launched missiles. Rogozin's remarks came just days after the trial of the U.S. Boeing X-51 Waverider hypersonic demonstrator vehicle. In March 2013, it was reported that the chosen Pak DA design would be a subsonic flying wing with an emphasis on stealth technology rather than with the ability to overcome supersonic speeds. Anatoly Zhikarev has noted that unmanned strategic bombers can follow Pak DA after 2040. On August 30, 2013, a Russian Ministry of Defense source revealed that the pak will be equipped with advanced precision-guiding weapons, including hypersonic weapons. The bomber itself will fly at subsonic speeds. Hypersonic technology is being sought so that Russia will not be left behind in developing similar weapons by the Americans. In November 2013, a decision was taken to accelerate work on pak and begin full-scale R&D work in 2014. In December 2013, Anatoly Zhikarev reported that the planning phase was completed in less than one year and development work would begin in 2014. He was more further noted the first flights will begin in 2019 with serial production starting in 2025. In February 2014, then Deputy Minister of Industry and Trade Andrei Baginsky stated that Russia was trying to obtain Chinese investment in the project. In April 2014, head of United Aircraft Corporation UAC, Russia Mikhail Pogosian announced that the Tupolev Design Bureau had completed the pak design and that the project was moving to the intermediate stage. The completion of the design and construction of prototypes in March 2015 it was learned that the Kazan Aircraft Production Association Capo, factory in Kazan was selected for the construction of the pak prototype and serial aircraft. The Russian Ministry of Defense allocates about RUB 5 billion for reconstruction and technical equipment from the production base to prepare factories for the construction of new bombers. The development of the pak da will be carried out in conjunction with the increased production of the two 160M2 series, although this then causes some delays in the program. In July 2015, representatives from the United Instrument Manufacturing Corporation UIMC, now part of Ross Electronics, announced the company was developing a one-of-a-kind communication system for bombers. On March 1, 2017, it was reported that the first full-size bomber model was built between different scales of different configurations. In July 2018, United Engine Corporation UEC, and Tupel have signed a contract to manufacture the pak power plant. According to preliminary reports, it will come from an upgraded Kuznetsov NK32 Tier 2 engine intended for modernized 2-160M2s. About RUB8 billion will be allocated for the development of new machines to be produced by JSC Kuznetsov and Samara. This engine provides pak with the ability to do non-stop flights for 30 hours while being resistant to temperatures from minus 60 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius and even the effects of nuclear explosions. The service life is estimated to be between 12 and 21 years. The first test of the DA POC machine will take place in 2020 and will be completed by the end of 2021. In February 2019, the final draft of POC DA was approved and all documents for the construction of the bomber were signed. Construction of the first aircraft components begins in late 2019, on May 26, 2020. The beginning of the construction of the first pak bomber was reported by TASS with reference to anonymous sources in the industry. Reportedly, construction of the first aircraft will be completed in 2021.